Okay, I have just changed this uh, 4007 to a 4004. I've hooked up. I'm just going to start with this coil. So, let's, uh, let's see what we get out of this. Alright. About where I was holding it before the first test. All right, getting some, still getting some serious RPMs. I think I was actually getting. I should have did an RPM test, but I think I was getting a higher RPM with the 4007 before. But. Okay, so that's that one. Now, let's see what the new coil has to offer. Keep hitting my hand on that damn thing. Right. Who's your friend? Okay, so that's spinning. Yeah, it's really oscillating. Um, well, it's oscillating even more than, yeah, more than it was before. Okay. Come on, who's your friend? Who do you love? Okay, now that's with the dial turned all the way. Is that the higher resistance? Um, still kind of about the same. And we lower the resistance. And, yeah, just oscillates. Uh, so that's not it. So, uh, the trigger on the top going on um, using 0.5 mm and 0.7 mm I got 4.8 ohms on the trigger and 9.1 ohms on the run runs on first triggers on after that I do believe I'm going to make another coil and I'm going to have the bifiler I'm gonna have the trigger and the run keep going and I'm only going to put on the um, 49.5 meters of the 0.5 mm trigger coil. Once that stops, put that off to the side, and then continue to run, or wrap the run coil around that. So, because it's just not, I was kind of, I was much happier with that. I'm going to make another circuit as well. This will be the 4004, and I'm going to have the 4007 again. Because uh, I, I don't know, it's the gut feeling thing here. So, that's where we're at. It's just not, she's not working, doing it with the trigger on the top. So, alright, time to prepare for a Signal 4 Typhoon that's going to be here probably in about three hours. So, if you don't hear from me after this one, I'm swimming with the fishies. Bye-bye. <laughs>